Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan. Today I am sharing with you an updated tour of my mom cave. So I hope you enjoy it. recently did a little mini makeover. I added the barn door to the room because it was open, the closet was open, and I wanted to have an enclosed space where I can put a lot of things and kind of hide the junk. So I did that. I got new carpets. The carpet is from Home Goods, and I know you've seen the video of the upholstery job I did for this chair. I did this myself. It was an old chair we had in the basement, bought some fabric from Joann's and kind of made this little chair. So I'm going to start from over here and then I'm going to just kind of move my way around. So this is maybe the most update since I had my last um, tour video. I recently updated the frames on top. I switched out all of the pictures to a more fall theme. I used Canva for that. I have a tutorial. You can check that out. I didn't pay anything for it except for the frames. The pictures I printed them at home and they were free. I added these two plants here. This one is the newest one. I'm going to change the pot. I just kind of put it there just to kind of see how it will look before I put it into like it's a nicer pot. Or what I can do, I can also paint it white like I did the other. So this table is from Home Goods. I got it for about 150. I think they took something off because it has like a little ding somewhere. But I have my mask inside of the drawers. I have clean mask and scrunchies here and accessory pouches from different diff different um, lines. So these are what's in these drawers. This little footstool is from Home Goods. I purchased this so I can use it as a footstool here. And then I can watch TV while I'm sitting here. I don't have like a table right here for my coffee or tea, but I do plan to get something down the road. This little thing is just something I had outside and I wanted to just use it inside temporarily. So this is from Home Goods. I wish I, I wish I purchased both of them, but I was only able to um, get one that day and then I went back for the other one and it wasn't there. So learn from my mistake. Never leave something in home goods that you really want because chances are it won't be there. So this area is where I have my first mood board. I have a video on how I made this. Just a, collab a, um, a collage of different pictures that I like to look at. Things to kind of help my mood when I look at it. I am in the process of making a vision board with the board on the opposite side of the TV. I have my Miranda Priestly pop figure next to my new bag. And I have a plant here. And this is from Home Goods. And this is from Shop Emmelyn with Love. Wait. Shop Anna with Love. She's on Instagram as well. And some pompous from Michaels. I just put them in the corner. So this is this section and the couch the chair i'm super proud of the chair um, i did have a little futon here before but i wanted to see what it was like with a chair you saw how comfy i looked when i sat in it i can sit in it curl up and take a nap and i'm kind of missing my futon a little bit but i love the chair just being here just so the kids and everyone know that this is just my space just one chair just for me but everyone loves to come in here and jump on it I'm surprised it's not dirty yet but I did realize that once it got stained I can just easily wipe it and then it will be clean this is still old <laughs> still old this is old I um, haven't decided what to really put on it so for now there's just random things like my boots shoe um, these this flower box that I made 
some um, designer boxes just for decor. Don't really know what to put on it next, but as it comes to me, I'll put some more things. But for now, that's just how it is. And then my baby is my pack system, pack system. So this is from Ikea. You can purchase this. Um, you can purchase like a standard set where they design it and it's already, the layout is set or you can do a custom design where you start with like a smaller frame or a wider frame like this one and then you add the shelves and the drawers that you want. So what I did, I did the custom and I wanted to have some shelving for clothes. I didn't really know what I wanted at the time, but I figured that I wanted shelves. And the best thing about this, I can always go back to Ikea and purchase more shelves. I can always switch these drawers out to put shelves. You can mix and match this. This is why it's really good. Um, so I have my bags displayed, some outfits that I like. I switch them from summer to sp spring, winter. So being that fall is coming, I kind of put some of my newer clothes on the shelf on in here and I will slowly put the summer clothes in the basement. So over here I have, I did purchase a new mirror from Home Goods, and I kind of want to focus this area like a vanity. So that's the reason why I have the mirror and then I have my, my perfumes and also my lotions on this section. So these are my perfumes that I currently have. I have um, Jo Malone, I have Kiehl's lotion. This is the one where you can use, buy the bag and you pump the refill, you pump it in here and you just per get this, um, the refill a bottle for free. So I have Jo Malone, um, Chanel, and this Tom Ford that my sister gifted me. And this old classic Vera Wang, I use it sometimes at night. I have my bracelets on that side. And then here I have another lotion, my Tiffany cup that I drink water out of sometimes. And here I just keep my current bag and my wallet that I'm using. It's just a cake stand I had in this office for such a long time. And it just kind of elevates the bag and I like the way how it looks. I have this pull-out drawer here. I use it as a multi-purpose drawer. I have a stool that's high. I can sit here and work here, right? I wouldn't recommend putting anything too heavy on this section because it's not the sturdiest, but I sometimes put my cutting machine here, cut inserts, paper. If I'm putting, putting a planner together, it's kind of like a separate workspace for me and it just gives me more little, more spaces in the office to work. So in these drawers, I have different things. This is like mail, a mail dump box. I have my nail stuff in here, my nail polishes, nail tips. This is my travel bag for my access, my planner supplies when I'm traveling. And then here I have lots of inserts and papers. This drawer is kind of like my, um, this is like my little store. If I have too, um, too much of one item, it will go here. If I need new post-its, I'll come here to get it. If I need a notebook, it's here. All the overflow of items that are not in my desk are in this drawer. I try to keep it as neat as I can so I can find things like all the notebooks are here, all the glues are here, liquid glues, the tape glues, pens, post-it. And then in the bottom drawer, I just have my business stuff. I got this card for my friend because I thought I needed a card in this room, but I really don't. So what I've been using it for on this section, I keep my work laptop, my work notebook, my work phone. And down at the bottom, I have some books along with tissue. On top, I have my Tombow brush pen. This is the glue, the paint that I'm going to use to paint the new board that I have for my vision board. And I have my productivity cube that I use almost every day to kind of keep me on track when I'm working. And this little lovely section here is mail that I, eat, that I eat that I either have to mail out or go through. 
I like keeping a dress hanging up because especially a cute dress so I can't really explain this but this is a dress that I want to wear in the next coming days I keep them out or if I get something really new that's super pretty doesn't have to be a dress I put it up here for kind of like display um, then we come around to where I am where I sit pretty much all the time if I'm not in my chair I'm sitting here working and the desk is still the same it's from Wayfair you can go on their website and um, if you search gold and white desk you'll be able to see it because I don't remember the exact name but there is a different one that is gold and white that looks like this and this drawer pull out drawer I have here is from Ikea this is the Alex drawer I just added some poles to it so it can kind of be a little bit um, just for looks so makeup is in this drawer makeup and skincare it's a little messy now so I'm gonna show you my makeup stuff and my skincare and in here I have miscellaneous things I have papers and file this is a file cabinet so I file things there and then we come around to my desk the shelves are from Ikea you can find them if you I think they're called lac shelves L-A-C-K and they're mounted really well my husband mounted them because obviously we won't, don't want them to fall down this is from I think Ikea or Target it's just a little shelf that has a barrier so whatever you put there don't fall over so my planners are here I kept my pop figure um, my Black Panther pop figure here new uh, additional decoration for the room plants these are just for decor purposes I kind of decorate with things that I like to look at not necessarily like decor item like I love these two individuals so I put their books there here I keep my brush pens that only the colors that kind of go with the the, oh, the entire aesthetic of the room and the other colors are on the tray I keep a lotion at my desk because I'm always lotion in my hands this is my toner it should be in the drawer but because it's so pretty it's from Kiehl's I want to keep it out and look at it and this is a face cream that can fit this beautifully organized at work is from um, at home with Nikki and then on my desk I just have things that I use. I use a lot of notepads and papers throughout the day. My mirror from when I'm doing my face. Uh, my lamp, This, these box, I made these myself. And more decorations for fall. Here I have some books for decor. This is where I keep all of my stickers. Not all of, I should say some of my stickers and these albums from Simply Gilded. I have more stickers in this drawer. And then in this drawer, I have the Happy Planner stickers. So I have this new Happy Planner stickers. I purchased it because it was a collaboration with a couple black artists. This is from Jenna Holiday. It's very nice. I found it. I actually didn't find it. Someone purchased it for me from another Joanne's and I paid them to mail it to me. Here I have my pictures from Shop Anna with Love. I just frame them in with Ikea frames. So this is kind of like my new favorite thing in the office because my husband and I made this together and every time I look at it, I'm just amazed by how wonderful it came out. So we used the barn door frame from Home Depot and this black part of it is a door from, it's a door from Home Depot. We kind of use it because we needed the, the size of the wall along with the door, something to mount our mirror on. So this is a mirror from Home Goods. It was like a rusty um, rose color and I painted it white with a matte chalky white paint because it was not like a rough surface. Um, if you're painting things that is not a rough surface, if it's kind of like shiny, it's good to get a good brush and matte paint. I use black matte paint for the, the the second part of the frame and it came out wonderful. So this is 
kind of like my messy closet I just kind of dump everything here that I don't need on my desk or I'm not using up top I have lots of boxes I figured the best way to kind of keep this space organized is to utilize boxes so I have like specific things in each box this is a paper tray that my daughter didn't want anymore but I keep my travel organizer up top and this I just stuck it right here until I can figure out what I'm gonna do with it this row has my printer printer paper and this is all miscellaneous items so below this behind this is my Cricut machine whenever I'm using it I just pull it forward I have my Cricut paper this I have my pills in here and this little basket contains new planner supplies that I order anytime anything new comes in that's planner related it goes into this little tray until I can fully look through it and kind of figure out where I'm gonna place them so all the new stuff goes here down here is like the junky part I have filming equipment my lighting and bags for work this bag contains um it's like this is from mini a mini dollhouse it's for my daughter and i to work on throughout the fall and winter and then i have my paper storage back here with papers in it so this is just blocking it temporarily but once we start to work on the dollhouse i will take that bag out and i think i'm gonna put it over here on this side we're gonna try to put the dollhouse here and then we'll work on it together so this is the room and i hope you like it so i'm just going to share some more clips of different spots so you can get a better look i will try to link as many things below but i hope you paid attention and listened because i said most of them in the video a lot of them i've had these things for quite some time it may or may not be available um but i did link a few i did i will link a couple items so you can check those out if you have any questions about anything that you see here comment below if you enjoy this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button so thank you for joining me and stick around for some more clips of this room